What's up everybody, I'm with Ryan Healy, former Major League Baseball player with the Oakland Athletic, Seattle Mariners, who else? Milwaukee Brewers. From Seattle, I was a big Mariners fan growing up. Everybody likes the Mariners. They've never done shit. <laughs> they really, they really, we were counting on you. I can't say I didn't, I helped that cause, that's not true. They what? made playoffs last year though at least. Yeah, but I did see like in your highlight reel that you got a couple dongers when you were on the athletics against them. Yeah, I definitely did. That's why I didn't get traded for me. I hit a lot of homers against them, so they wanted me on their team. How many homers did you hit? Total? Total. Not in that I know the exact number off my head, but 69. <laughs> <laughs> no, like who's keeping track of their stats? Yeah, I, I don't, it's not on Google or anything. Now you're in a new career, right? You joined my program. You were in another guy who teaches real estate, Ryan Pineda's golf tournament which mm -hmm. I was in yeah. and you got you won my book yeah you read it yeah. on the plane it was a must against all odds I read your book I, uh, <laughs> I had a former teammate Christian Bergman invite me out to the event Troy of course he sponsored a whole he had this spinning wheel and I won a book yeah and joking with the girl there I said what am I gonna do with a book I don't read <laughs> on the plane ride home I started reading couldn't put it down and ended up scheduling a call with him and the rest is history right now we're in Birmingham Alabama how many properties have you bought one, but I've offered on about 50 out here, so we're here to actually close some deals. So, but you bought one property here. How yeah. many properties have you bought total? Uh, five within the last six months. Five within the last six months since joining the program. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's walk and talk a little bit. We were meeting with uh, Ryan's realtor friend. He's got a couple flips going on, and this is kind of a cool thing. So Ryan's transitioning. We were just talking about. It. I was like, let's roll some tape on that. He is actually doing a thing called what is it called? Yeah, so it's called show service. I am starting a business to help take care of major league baseball players' homes while they're away for season. I remember how stressful it was to leave my house for six to eight months and not have someone to look over it or rely on a neighbor. So providing a convenience for a niche market and trying to grow the relationships that I have and the ones that I would like to grow more of. So essentially, if I, if I decide to go back after baseball mm -hmm. again like Doug Stooner, you know who you are. You're my freaking seventh grade coach that made me quit baseball because you're a jerk. If I decide to go after it again and I get drafted by the Milwaukee Brewers, like the oldest 45 year old, Nolan Ryan yeah, style. Yeah, pretty right? much. Yeah, so if I go in there and I'm playing for the major leagues or if I'm a major league baseball player and I'm like, hey, I'm leaving town, I need someone to take care of my house and I'm in Arizona, right? Yep. Now, could you actually franchise this and do this in other, because Arizona, you, why is that such a good place? There's about 17 to 18 spring training facilities there. So you see a lot of guys end up calling Arizona home base. Taxes are a little bit friendlier than most states. Florida's a 0% interest or income tax. Arizona is about four or five. So guys end up settling in Arizona. They like the convenience of being in one place all off season in spring training, and then they'll rent a place for a season. So it's a lot of transplants, guys that aren't from there, they don't have family. So if I can be that trusted source, boots on the ground to take care of your property for you while you're gone, that's the service I want to provide. All right, so walk me through what you're doing. How often are you coming out to their property? What are they getting for that? And why would somebody want to hire your service to do that? So we have two separate packages. We did the platinum and the gold. We're trying to keep it baseball themed. And the <laughs> platinum package, I'll go to your property twice a month. It'll be scheduled visits, it'll got automated SMS uh, text message reminders, make sure your alarms are off. I'll go there, I'll do a complete diagnostic of the property, I'll checklist and you'll get photo updates monthly. The gold package, I go once a month. Uh, the big difference between the platinum and the gold package is the platinum package, I'm gonna prep your house for you when you come home. Your exterior couch cushions, I'm gonna hose off your back patio, I'm forwarding mail to you. When you walk into that house, you're gonna feel like it is ready for you to live in. There's no cleanup, there's no maintenance you need to do, it's ready for you. And I think the coolest thing is that you actually understand what these guys are looking for because you played in the big leagues. Versus a lot of these other companies that might do the same thing, they don't know because they never did it. You actually were on the field hitting 69 home runs and you understand what guys like you who playing in that, is that, is that a stressful environment? Very much so. And for me, to, to take a stress off your plate because you know I've been released, I've been DFA'd, I've been traded, I've had all these things, and you can be moving at the drop of a hat, and your family can end up going back to your house randomly, and if you don't have someone there to make sure the house was prepped, you don't know what kind of condition it's in. For me, my wife, my kid, the, the safe space for them should be the home. And if I'm not there to protect them or take care of the house, I want to make sure someone is so that they're walking into a safe environment. DFA. Pretty much means you're kicked off the team. But what's, what does it stand for, do you know? Designated for assignment. God, that sucks. Yeah, it's part of the gig, I guess. So when you, okay, let's walk through that a little bit more. So when you're when you're first getting drafted to the major leagues, how does that whole program go down? As a major league baseball player, and now as a real estate investor, like you've reached, that's why I told Ryan, I'm like, he's gonna be one of the best investors because you don't get to the level of the major leagues without having a, a work ethic like nobody's business, right? Because it's talent and work ethic. I think the one thing with transition from baseball to real estate is there's a lot of unknowns for me in real estate because I haven't done it. Right. And for me, pro ball was the same thing. I had a lot of unknowns because I didn't, I didn't do it yet. And right. Once I did it and it made sense and I can explain the logistics of start to finish minor league, major leagues, like I, I lived it. I know every ins and out of it. Real estate, 
every day every day is a new day for me and every right. problem is a new problem and it's that's the exciting thrill but the I think the trust and belief in yourself to know that if I do the right things long enough I'll get to where I want to be that's what keeps me out of getting out of bed every morning for real estate and learning new things I mean most guys when they're playing in the major league baseball players are, are and in the major leagues they're not familiar with they're just out there they're focused on their job at hand which is to stay on the team and to get their RBs R's up to get their batting average up I mean I know what it's about it's about getting on base yeah. It's about getting guys in on base, right? It's about not making errors. You don't want a lot of errors on your record, right? You don't I, got want to be few, the... I got a few of those on my record, that's for sure. <laughs> now, is, is that 90% mental? Very much so. Yeah. I, I would say more, to be honest. 100% mental? Yeah, I, I would say 99.9% .9 mental. Wow. At that point, the physicals, everyone has the, the skills, the abilities. It's more so the ability to quiet their minds and, and be consistent on an everyday basis. But that's, that's even real estate, right? Seems like it, yeah. Whether you want to be a Major League Baseball player or whether you want to be a Major League Baseball player investing in real estate, you probably need to get a hold of Ryan Healy, right? One of the things that we talked about, and if you're out there and you're watching this right now, whether you're an investor or whether you're in the major leagues, you need to get a hold of this guy. Because one of the things that we talked about is you could actually invest with Ryan, right? And you could invest with Ryan and you could partner with him and while you're making that money, that money is growing for you. While you're on the field, not getting DFA'd, right? While you're not getting DFA'd, and while you're not committing errors, you're actually going to real estate portfolio. And the one thing about it is you're paying a high tax bracket when you're in the major leagues, right? Much so. That was one of the things that drew me to real estate most, most importantly was the tax benefits that you can have within it. The ability to earn income in numerous avenues of my life and be able to strategically invest and create some depreciation and some actual losses on my tax records. I was able to keep more cash, which I think took less pressure off me for how much cash he had to earn. I think I'd love the strategy that went into that. Then that might be that he's talking complicated to me all right now. That means is depreciation in real estate means code word loss, but it doesn't mean you actually lost money. It means on paper you lost money. It means when you show Uncle Sam that you made a bunch of money in baseball, but now you have these real estate losses through bonus depreciation, cost segregation, mm -hmm. all these buzzwords we're talking about right now. It means you're actually making more money. And the other thing is a lot of the guys like you, people who want to be exactly like you, who are pursuing their career. Not everybody's going to get to the top. Not everybody's going to be a Cal Ripken. Not everybody's going to be a Nolan Ryan. There's a lot of guys that I'm mean, giving my son my baseball cards that you just never remember, right? They go in, they come out, and that might be you, and that might be somebody else. Like, you might say, hey, I played in the major leagues. I don't know how that is, but I can tell you one thing is real estate's forever. That's why I'm here. Real estate is forever, and if you want to get a trusted source and you want to invest with one of your comrades, a guy who got to the big, the big, what is it called? The big leagues. The big, the big league. I know. Isn't it called something else? The the show. That's, where, that's, that's what I'm that's talking where about. Show service came from, baby. The big show, right? The big show. If you want to get to somebody who, it's like also a wrestler, right? <laughs> if you want to get to call it the show. If you want to get to the show, you need to get with show service. And if you're in the show right now, or if you're trying to get to the show and you're not a major league baseball player, you need to get into real estate, right? Make sure that you share this video with a friend. Make sure that you comment below. If you got questions for Ryan, he's one of my students. And I can tell you what right now, we're all learning. I, I'm sure coaches learn from their players. I learn from my students. We learn about what we're good at, what we need to be better at. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that like nothing is easy. Everything is hard. You know what I mean? Was it hard to play in the major leagues? Very much so. Is it hard to get into real estate? Very, very much so. Right. <laughs> Just because you don't know it yet, but it's getting easier. Yeah. And you have a pretty good grasp on some of the syndication stuff. You studied a lot of that. Yeah, I'm in the more of the applying phase. I think for me, I can do all the research I want, but I've learned so much just by doing that. That's my motto for 2023 is I'm just gonna do what I can and I'm gonna learn along, along the way. Fail forward fast. Exactly. All right, guys, subscribe, click the link below, share this video with a friend, get with Ryan, peace. <laughs>